Hi, I'm Andrew Storey and I'm Director of IT at Dulwich College. This video gives you an overview of the work that we've been doing here at Dulwich College, together with City of London School and St Albans High School for Girls, in providing a new course called Informatics. It's a new course for the digital age. The trials of this course begin in September 2016 in our schools. And if you'd like to join in the trials, please do get in touch. So why do we need a new course? Well, first, we have a new national curriculum in the UK. This curriculum includes IT skills, which is something that we used to teach, computational skills, which is programming and coding, and also digital literacy skills, such as being aware of how to use social media in the correct way. At the moment, there is no course or qualification which covers all the skills of the national curriculum. And so we need a course to meet the changing needs of students as they progress through our schools. We also need to help our computing coordinators keep track of multiple elements. For example, the pupils' skills as they progress through the school. They may do these at different times in different subjects and to be able to track them and know where your students are is quite valuable. Also, we'd like to know where the students are using their skills. In other words, where they embed them in the wider curriculum. Are they using these skills for presentations in wellbeing? Are they using these skills when they produce projects in history and geography? The foundation of the course are the core modules. The first core module is that of device management. In many schools, there are now bring your own device schemes and students are regularly bringing mobile devices into the classroom to assist them with their education. We think it's very important that the students know what functionality their machines have and indeed how to use them. For example, are they backing them up? Are they able to secure their data? And also, are they able to use cloud technology to organise themselves? The second core module is that of software fundamentals. Students would eventually be going into business and they need office skills. They will need to be able to produce a report, produce a spreadsheet, give a lively and interesting presentation and also to be able to communicate well with their fellow workers in a collaborative, usually cloud-based environment. The third core module is that of cyber safety and security. In a world where lots of transactions such as our banking are all done online, are we sure that our information is kept safe from attack? And the final core module is that of computational thinking. This is where students will learn how to program and write software for computers. Students will also require some additional modules to further their studies in other areas of the curriculum. For example, they may wish to look at more control and programming software in sciences and also in DT and electronics. They may be interested in creative technology, looking at 3D animation or software which allow them to become architects. Students are very keen to be able to write software for their mobile devices. So we have an additional module called mobile app development. The internet and the web are all around us and it's really important that the students understand 
the power of the internet. The module Digital Humanities in the Internet will look at how the internet works, how to keep safe on the internet, how to search for information on the internet, and how to use that information sensibly. Finally, there's an additional module for business entrepreneurship. This is where students will extend their office skills and also look at back-end databases and how to put websites up to promote their businesses. So who's our course aimed at? Well, primarily, it is there to support post-16 study. In other words, post-GCSE. And look at how students might use the technology to support their A-levels, to support their vocational courses, and for life beyond school or college, such as a university or in business. There is now a move to traditional three A-levels, and this will leave some gap in curriculum time in year 12. Many schools are looking for options which will interest the students or which they will find valuable in later life. And we think that some of our additional modules will be really useful for the students. The course is also useful to be able to build pupil skills as they progress right through the school. So some schools will be looking to introduce some of the topics and some of the elements in year seven and year eight and year nine, whilst other schools might find it more appropriate to deliver them in year 12. The course aims to be quite flexible in this regard. Finally, as mentioned before, students, staff are now using their own devices and their own technologies to support their learning and their teaching. And without training, there's a great danger that some of these schemes will fail. So it's quite important that we ensure that the students are comfortable with the technology that they have in the classroom and are using it to enhance their study rather than to distract from those studies. The course comes with a free booklet and suggested tasks which cover the skills of each module. The tasks will be supported by online videos so that students can learn and work at their own pace. There is a link on the Learn Informatics website where you can download the tasks and exercise files for inclusion in your schemes of work. The videos are also available as part of the Learn Informatics training channel on YouTube. Students can be registered to use the marking technology and online tracking website. This will allow coordinators to monitor the progress of, school, of students and the marking technology will allow routine tasks from the booklet to be marked and targeted feedback provided. More information on this technology can be found on the website. Join the trial year for a small cost of £10 per student. Your students can be registered using the marking engine and the online tracking technology. This registration will last for the school life of the students, that is until the end of year 13. Online tracking is a great way of allowing teachers to track how their students are progressing over time. Given that the teaching of informatics skills can be done in a variety of ways, and not necessarily in discrete lessons, but sometimes in other subjects, this is quite important. The tracking system allows pupils to evidence where they have used informatics skills in other subjects, such as in history or science projects, and coordinators can see in what subjects the skills are being used. Finally, the tracking software helps schools to mould their computing curriculum by allowing the key skills to be delivered at the right point in the student's education, as well as highlighting where students are missing out on key skills. All schools have a unique way of delivering their computing curriculum, so the Learn Informatics course allows for that sort of flexibility. Teachers can use their own materials, providing that all the skills are covered. Alternatively, they can use pre-existing courses such as ECDL, Microsoft Office Skills, Code.org, etc. to deliver the same skills. Or they can use the tasks provided on the Learn Informatics website 
together with the marking engine to ensure the skills are covered for each module. It is, of course, possible to mix and match all these three approaches to fit an individual school's needs. The course is being developed by teachers at City London School, Dulwich College and St Albans High School for Girls. In September 2016, the trials of the core modules will begin in those schools and also the schools who have signed up. Schools can sign up at any time during the first year and the main launch will be at Dulwich College in May 2017. This will be an opportunity to talk to the trial schools and see how the courses have gone in a variety of different educational settings. For the trial year, the exercises and videos are free and the marking and tracking of technologies will be £10 per student. We're also looking for endorsement from prominent organisations so that schools feel comfortable that the skills have credibility in the marketplace. There is, however, no intention of turning the course into a qualification on the national framework, as we feel this would stifle the content and restrict delivery in schools. We are committed to allowing the course to be as flexible as possible. So if you are interested in the Learn Informatics course and possibly taking part in our trials, then contact us on info at learninformatics.co.uk. And thanks for listening.